Today we're doing a one point perspective drawing. I'm going to go through step by step. Just remember, just like anything, everybody works at their own pace. If you don't get it right away, that is fine. This is our practice drawing. If any of you think, wow, this is easy, you get it right away, that is great. You're going to do a practice drawing, show me you know what you can to do, and then I have something more advanced for you. We're going to start out with a horizon line. So you're going to draw a horizon line is horizontal, horizon, they kind of sound the same. You're going to line up your ruler, keep it parallel with the edge of your paper, and you're going to have to um, hold it down with your hand so it doesn't slide around. Take your pencil, draw a line going across, horizontal line. Again, this is to divide the sky from the land. You're not going to draw that on your paper. I'm just showing you sky and land. Now I'm going to do a vanishing point right there. And you can go ahead and do a road. So the road is like an upside down V. It starts at the point and you're going to angle your ruler a little bit. It's going to be like an upside down V. And what we're doing is we're showing how things go back into space. So a road, if you look at something, if you look at a hallway or if you look at a road going far away, it looks like it ends at a point. Of course, it doesn't really, but that's how our eye sees it. And then when you do that, horizon line, two lines to the vanishing point, then you're going to go ahead and draw um, a rectangle. The easiest way to do it is to take your ruler and just, oh, you can also do, um, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do a sidewalk on here too. You can decide if you want to do a sidewalk or not, but since what I'm doing next has a sidewalk, I'm going to go ahead and draw one on here. Whoops, I didn't quite line that up right. You're going to take your ruler and again, keep it parallel to the edge of your paper. And the easiest way to do it is just to draw a rectangle using either side of your ruler. That just makes it quick and easy. And draw across the top. Now, here are ones that I have already drawn. I drew two to save time. I already have it drawn to show you. I'm going to connect the, on, in geometry called the vertices of the figure. We're going to make this look three dimensional. We're going to make it look like it's going back into space. So I'm going to connect that end, that corner of the building, with my horizon line. Now again, make sure you connect it, hold it firm with your fingers before you draw the line. And we're doing this all with pencil. We don't go over it with marker or um, colored in anyway until we have all the drawing completely done. And now it goes back into space. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to keep it parallel. Remember parallel means the same distance between two lines. It, keeps, it stays the same. Take it parallel and I'm going to slide it over however long I want my building to be. And I'm going to draw the line going up. The temptation a lot of times is to draw the line I just want to show you what this looks like. This is not the correct way. Okay, that would be slanted. So when you look at a building, this is how your eye sees it. Slide it over, and it's going to look shorter on this side and longer on this side towards you. This is where you're standing at this end here, looking back in the distance. Same thing for the top. These are flat roof buildings. So that's the easiest to draw. Start here, slide it up, keep it. Um, keep the lines horizontal, keep them parallel, and that's your first building. Now you can erase the lines going back to the vanishing point. Now I know some of you have drawn boxes before. I know many of you know how to draw the box where you go like this and you go like this and you connect the lines. It's somewhat similar to that, but that is not what we're doing on this paper because I want you to learn to draw you a one point perspective drawing using a horizon line using the correct method. Then you can go ahead and draw um, another square, another box on the other side, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to connect the, the horizon, the, sorry, the vanishing point with the ends of your building. One thing I didn't say is I'm not, you notice I'm not doing this fourth point. That's because I do not have x ray vision. I cannot see through the building, so that line would never show up. So I'm going to keep my ruler, keep it parallel, decide where I want to end the building, keep it parallel. You cannot make it go on forever. I do want to see that you know how to do this. So don't say, oh, my building just is a super long building. No, you have to show a line to show where the building ends so I can see that you understand how to keep these parallel. And then you can add details. Now another common mistake I'm going to show you is windows. 
A lot of times we want to draw windows in, and we want to draw them um, just normal windows just straight across. That, so you can see, does not look correct. On the side going away from you, if it's going away from you, you always, always go to the vanishing point. So the easiest way to do windows is to make um, a top and a bottom line like this. And then again, you have to keep your ruler um, parallel to the edge of your paper and make these lines. Now notice what happens to the size of the windows the farther you go back. And I'm going to erase this space in between. Oh, you can't see here. If I would keep going, the windows get smaller and smaller. The farther back you go, the smaller the buildings get, the smaller the windows get. You can do a door. And I'm going to have you add as many details as you have time for today. Again, this is your practice drawing. And the next week you'll be starting your final drawings. There's a door. Now if you want to do trees, I want to show you. Again, I want to show you another common mistake so that I want to show you so that you can do it the right way. A lot of times this is what people draw. Now that would be fine if your tree is falling over, but I don't want you to draw trees falling over. And please don't tell me, oh, it's my tree is falling over. Nope, we're drawing trees that are upright today. You can make trees falling over some other time. And I'm also going to draw a real tree, which is not a tree like I just drew, but draw some branches, make it look a little more advanced. Make it look more like a fourth or fifth grade drawing. Now that's kind of a big tree for the size of that building, but we'll go ahead and leave it. And you can add whatever you want. Now if you're going to draw another building, if I was going to do a building this down this far, how big am I going to make the side, this building here? Okay, it's not going to be very big, is it? Because the farther away we go, the smaller the buildings get. And then you can add whatever else you want. 